Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. Hello and welcome back to the program. Welcome to the intermediate portion of class number 169. And we'll get started with a little review of yesterday's content. Yesterday we were talking about regular verbs. Yes, regular verbs are often underappreciated friend regular verbs because people always think, oh, I know them, they're easy. You throw on an ED, Kyle, it's no problem. Piece of cake, pan comido, piece of cake. Yeah, but the thing is, this is what I say to my students, the thing is, the important thing that you have to consider, the trick is that we have some different pronunciations here. We have some different endings for pronunciation of these verbs in the past. So first we have the hard D sound, agreed, allowed, contained, closed, cried. And you can really hear the D there. Then we have the T sound. Now this occurs when we have verbs that end, or the infinitive ends in a K or a K sound. Or a, an S, for example, like kiss, kissed. Also with a ch, 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 I watched, I watched it, I watched it, watched it. And wish, for well, sh, wish, for example, wish, wished, I wished for something better, I wished for something else. So, so we have a t sound, but here with these examples, there, there's no extra syllable. There's no extra syllable in the past. We're just forcing the sound onto the word with no extra syllable. Now, we do have extra syllables occurring in words where the infinitive, verbs where the infinitive ends in a T or D. What I'm saying is, if the infinitive ends in a T or D, such as act, uh, one syllable, act, uh, Act. Yesterday, I acted. Da, da, acted. Two syllables. One syllable becomes two. Attend. Da, da. Yesterday, I attended. Da, da, da. Three syllables. This occurs when the infinitive ends in a T or D sound. All right? So, every day, I eliminate. Yesterday, I eliminated. Every day, I hate. Yesterday, I hated. Every day I lift. Yesterday I lifted. Every day I rest. Yesterday I rested. Okay, so let's mix them. Let's try a little mix here. Every day I earn. Yesterday I earned. Very good. Every day I carry. Yesterday I carried. Every day I like. Yesterday, I liked. Liked, yes. Every day I walk. Yesterday, I walked. Every day I avoid. Yesterday, I avoided. Here's the extra, extra syllable. I avoid with a D. So, yesterday, I avoided. I avoided a problem. I avoided getting in trouble. Every day I rent. I rent. And yesterday I rented. Rented. Now, when we practice these, I make I, I add the word every day and the word yesterday because it forces you to this is a little trick for forcing you to associate that conjugation. It helps us in your brain kind of establish the tense and set the time frame that we're talking about. So, I like to practice it that way. Every day I want something different. Yesterday, I wanted. Yesterday, I wanted something different. Every day, I pass. And yesterday, I passed. Yes. 
Every day I pass. Yesterday I passed. All right. So, no problem? Piece of cake? Pan, I think the second time I've said that today. Piece of cake? Pan comido? Piece of cake? Right. Okay, now we can move on and take a look at something else that's very important and interesting. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go here to use my focused translation book. This is from the, you can find the, the focused pack. And there's, a, there's an article, well, there's a, a page here on pronouns. And I'll use some of these from this book to practice this point, which you see here in class 168. Pronouns in general, it says, but but here we're really focusing on personal pronouns, and we'll use the imperative. So, for example, pídemelo. You'd say, ask me for it. So, repeat out loud, ask me for it. Ask me for it. Pídeselo a él. Ask him for it. Ask him for it. And... I'm, I must admit, this is something I, I've, I've been teaching English for quite a while. I've been teaching English for many years now, for, well, for, for about seven years, six and a half years. And pronouns the, like this, this type of exercise really, is really good. It helps reinforce a, a really a very common problem area for a lot of people. So it's good to really master the pronouns. And um, pronouns and also uh, you know, possessive pronouns, possessive adjectives, these sorts of things are really the nuts and bolts of, of, of the grammar and really important to practice these. So here, practicing, remember, in the imperative, we don't have a subject. So, pídeselo a ella, ask her for it. Pídeselo a ellos. Ask them for it. Dáselo a él. Si es suyo. Give, ¿Cómo es? En voz alta. Eh? En voz alta. Give it to him if it's his. Give it to... Did you get that? Pedro, did you get that? Pedro up there in La Coruña. You were with me a couple of weeks ago on the radio. Did you get that one, Pedro? Give it to him if it's his. I hope so. I hope, hope you got that right. Te lo pediré. Well, okay, there we go. That's not a... I, I guess that's not an imperative, is it? But I'll ask you for it. Yeah, I just looked down the, ne the next one on my list. I'll, I'll pick another one here. That is an imperative. Ah. Enséñanos el de ella. Hmm. Enséñanos el de ella. Show us hers. Enséñale a ella, el de ellos. Show her theirs. All right? Good. Okay, no problem, right? Hopefully, hopefully this isn't a problem area. But it's very important. We, it's very important to develop good agility with these pronouns. All right. Why don't we, well, here we have a couple. Let's practice a few more. Uh, how, how about some possessive pronouns? Well, we'll let's try five more, okay? Dame el millo. Dame el millo. That was number one. Give me mine. Dale a él el suyo. ¿Cómo es? Give him his. Give him his. Bea, did you get that? Bea, who wrote me an email a couple days ago asking me a question. Did you get that one? Give him his. Good. Dale a ella el suyo. Give her hers. Give her hers. Danos el nuestro. Give us ours. Dales el suyo. Give them theirs. Right? So this stuff has got to come natural. Right? This, this is, you've got to be 100% with this stuff. Right? Dame el mío, give me mine. Dale a él, 
el suyo. Give him his. Dale a ella el suyo. Give her hers. Danos el nuestro. Give us ours. Dales el suyo. Give them theirs. The nuts and bolts. Working, working, working. Practicing, practicing. Practice makes perfect, we say. And in fact, I was just... Uh, I think it was yesterday in the advanced class, we had the structure. What was the structure? It was uh, it was our it was an expression that I saw, which related to hard work. Oh boy, now I can't even remember what it was. But there was a great expression related to hard work, and it said, Oh no, I can't remember it. Sorry, I I it slipped my mind, but I had an expression. It was with me, and I just lost it. But there was an expression related to, to ah yes, I believe it was keep your ah yes, keep your nose to the grindstone, which means keep working, keep working hard, keep your nose to the grind, the grindstone. So imagine we're, imagine we are, uh, we have this rotating stone that's used for sharpening knives and so on, the grind, the grindstone for grinding. So to grind with a with a stone or something else. In this case, a grindstone is a stone that's rotating and it's used to sharpen knives. You've seen it. You see it all the time. If you go to get your, your knives sharpened, you have the afilador. They come around. Afilador. <laughs> right? And they have a grindstone on, often on the back of their vehicle. But we say to keep your nose to the grindstone, because if you're working on that grindstone, your, your face is down, your nose is near it. We say keep your nose to the grindstone. It means keep, keep working. Keep working hard. Okay? So you have to keep your nose to the grindstone with this course. You have to, you have to work hard, you know? There's the, the harder you work, the more benefit you get from it, right? It's that simple. Okay. So now as we move on... We can take a look at our word of the day. Word of the day. Yes, friends, our word of the day today is the verb inundar. Inundar, which is the verb, which is the verb to flood. 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 F L O O D. Flood. Not flood, but flood. Remember the other day we were talking about the double O. I said, I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood for food cook. I'm not a cook, but my friend is a cook. He puts me in the mood for food. We were talking about the double O, the double O sound. Here we have flood, flood, and it rhymes with blood, sangre, sangre, blood, ud. And here, flood. Uh, the verb to flood, inundar, or inundación, which is the noun, a flood, flood. So the double O sound again, behaving in an interesting and different way. In, well, in terms of pronunciation, being pronounced in a different way. So flood, very different from food, very different from good. Okay, so different pronunciation options. But inundar, the verb to flood. Every year, towns f get flooded. Every year they flood. Last year they flooded. Okay, let's move on now into something new. Also, also, in the sense of también. Hablo español. También hablo inglés. I can speak Spanish. I can also speak English. He ido a México. También he ido a Brasil. I've been to Mexico. I've also been to Brazil. Voy a visitar a mis padres. También voy a visitar a mi abuela. I'm going to visit my parents. I'm also going to visit... My grandmother. Okay? So, answer my questions. I can drive a car. And you... So, give, give me an answer using also. I can drive a car. And you? I can also drive a car. I can also drive a car. Now, I have to work. Sometimes I wish I didn't have to, but I have to work. And you? I also have to work. Yes. Now, Alberto, Alberto Alonso, he can speak Spanish. And you? I can also, so using also, también. I can also 
speaks Spanish. And your mother, she can also speak Spanish. Of course, we could say, she can speak Spanish too. But in this sense, we can say also. Okay? Also. All right, let's move on. I want to fit one more thing in. One more little grammar piece, which is actually a little continuation with also. But first, let's take a look at our vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. All right, yes, it is time for the vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. The first word today is envolver. Envolver, which is to wrap. Wrap. And here we have this silent W. Wrap. Wrap. Just like rap music. Right? Like hip-hop or rap. Rap. Here it's W-R-A-P. Envolver. So to wrap a gift, for example. At Christmas, I wrap gifts. But I'm terrible at wrapping gifts. I don't like wrapping gifts. I don't wrap gifts very often. But, um... Well, at Christmas time, I shouldn't say I don't like doing it. I don't mind it. My mother is great at wrapping gifts. My brother always gives all the gifts that he's going to give to, to someone else. He, he, get, he asks my mother to wrap them for him because he hates wrapping gifts. The second word today, tesoro, which is treasure. Treasure. Yes, treasure, treasure. One of my favorite stories growing up was Treasure Island with Long John Silver. Treasure Island, yeah. Cintura. Cintura is your waist. Waist. W-A-I-S-T. Your waist. And the belt, your cinturón, your belt goes around your waist. A toda velocidad. A toda velocidad. At full speed. At full speed. And our technician is telling me that I have to go through the rest of the class at full speed because we only have a minute left. Autentico. Autentico is authentic. Authentic. I can tell the difference. I can distinguish. I can make out. We, we saw that in the advanced class, in fact. To make out, to distinguish the difference between Ham, jamón, that's not so good. Ham, that's not so good. And good ham. De lo bueno, eh? The serrano, the nice cinco hortas. I can take, I can tell the difference between the authentic ham. De, de, de jabugo, he just tells me. De, de jabugo, mejor, huh? <laughs> Guijuelo, maybe? También? Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm completely out of time. Yes, and, uh, but yeah, the last word, authentic. Autentico, authentic. No problem. I'm out of time. We're going to talk a little bit more about this word also. We've talked about it today, and don't worry, we will also talk about it tomorrow. I'm going to take a break, but I'll be back with the advanced class in about three and a half minutes. Keep listening, keep studying, keep working, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>